go. The vacant WBA World Bantamweight Championship. I cannot wait for this fight. I can't tell you how many different versions of this belt we've had. Of course, last year, after Rachel Ball beat Shannon, Ebony Bridges was going to fight Rachel Ball. Ebony got injured. Then we made the Rachel Ball, Shannon Courtney fight. Rachel Ball got COVID. Ebony Bridges stepped in and stepped in after a recent win in Australia. The phone call came just three or four weeks notice and said, I'm ready. Let's do it. She went to uh, America for training camp and for Shannon. Been stuck in some hotel somewhere in Surrey. I see on your social media. Grafting away, grafting away. Shannon, I'll start with you. Massive opportunity for you. This fight has got a huge amount of coverage. Um, the hype has been fantastic. Whether you like it, whether you like it, I don't care because I like it. But most importantly for you, you know this is your opportunity to become a world champion on Saturday. Yeah, this is more than just a fight. This is an opportunity for me to change my entire life, to change my family's life. This is the reason I got into boxing and I'm, I'm excited to achieve my dream Saturday night. We know that you're a very passionate person. You, I think maybe volatile is a word that you might be all right with me using. I don't know. Power, I'll stick with you passion. Said it now, okay, so. yeah, yeah. Um, is it the mind games going on here? Is it? Do you think Ebony's trying to get under your skin at all, or you two just don't particularly see eye to eye? Is it going to be hugs think, and whatever happens on Saturday night? We or just we... obviously have very different opinions when it comes to fighting. She's more talking about the weigh-in, and all I care about is the fight. I'm a fight fan, so this, to me, this is a world title fight. Why are we not talking about the fact this is a world title fight? This is a fantastic fight. She's an exciting fighter, she's aggressive, she comes forward, I'm aggressive, I come forward. Our styles are gonna mix. So let's talk about the fight. No, there's nothing else to discuss. Well, I'll come back to you, Ebony. Welcome, good Thank to you. see you good here. You. Um, a lot of talk, you do things very differently. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people saying that you know, you talked your way into getting this yeah. opportunity. Uh, you are an undefeated fighter. Yeah. You're coming through through the system. You've looked very good so far. Maybe it's a little bit early for you. Maybe it's a little bit early for Shannon as well. But you put yourself out there in a way to become recognised, to become noticed. And quite frankly, it's worked. Yeah. You get your shot at a world title on yeah. Saturday. Yeah, so it's obviously the same way that I've got noticed is how I'm getting this fight noticed. You know what I mean? Because I just feel like um, women's boxing does need more eyes on the sport. And we need to do whatever we can. And I really truly believe that the reason this fight has got so much talk about it is because of me, is because of maybe the, un, uh, you know, the, the different approach that I go to things, is because I'm bringing in a different personality, I'm bringing in a different look, it's something different. And I just think that that's what's helping getting the eyes on the sports and getting the talk on the sports and building it. And for me, um, what does matter is what happens in the ring. That's all that matters what happens in the ring. But if we can get as much people as we can to watch that fight, then me and Shannon, because we are great fighters, can actually show to more people because we've got more interest from a much diverse, like, uh, you know, viewers that, hey, women can fight, you know? So that's my goal. My goal is just to get the views, get the people watching. Once they watch, me and Shannon are going to put on that show and we're going to prove that women's boxing is, is exciting and not just the fights, but everything about it. You know, we can, we can do a build up, we can make it exciting, we can make people get invested in the whole journey. You know, so I think that's my, my angle and that's why I'm going about it. And I think it's working because I feel like we've stolen the show. We, we know that, you know, that, that's your image and that's what you do. How do you feel about or respond to, you know, female fighters say, oh, you know, we don't need to do that. We don't need to portray ourselves that way. I know that th beneath that yeah. is someone who wants to win this world title oh, yeah. so badly, someone that studies boxing, yeah. someone that loves boxing, and, and that's really what does matter to you deep down yeah. in this fight. Yeah, oh, definitely. You know, like, I've been fighting, um, you know, I've been into martial arts since I was five. You know, I haven't been a boxing fan for just six years or five years or, you know, however long I've been boxing. I was a boxing fan well before I even started boxing. You know, I was in the combat, sp I've been in combat sports my whole life. You can ask me anything about boxing, I probably know more than most people. Um, so, you know, for me, obviously, the boxing part is very important to me but I just feel like we need to get more views on women's boxing. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get that, you know what I mean? Because then we can prove it. Um, and I think winning this world title and, um, you know, me winning this world title will just show that, hey, you know, like, you don't have to be like everyone else to be able to achieve these kind of goals. So that's what I'm going for. Um, Obviously, there has been a lot of backwards and forwards. Yeah. You want to punch her in the face, she wants to punch oh, you in the boxing, face. Right? Yeah, of course, exactly. <laughs> I don't want to punch her in the is face. There is there, an, is there animosity from you? I mean, is, is, it, is it edgy or is it just, is it part of the show? I mean, I know you want to win yeah, of on course. Saturday, but... You know, I go in there, um, my goal is like, I'm savvy, you know what I mean? Like, I want to go in and fuck this shit up, sorry. But like, I mean, I'm not here to, 
I'm not here. I'm not here to play around. I'm not here to f spiders. I'm here to get the job done, you know. And I don't play around in boxing. Like when I fight, I'm there to hurt you, you know. I might look the way I look, but I can't wait to get in that ring and to show you guys like how I fight. And that's like the more people that I can get watching and tuning in to see the, the bomber. And this is my opportunity on this mad platform. Like you know, I couldn't have asked for a better platform to do it. Then I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do whatever I can. Shannon asked you as well. Is do you are you excited to punch her in the face or anybody in the face? Is it is there a little bit of a personal thing for you here or is it just business? No, I'm just excited to fight. I can understand why she's saying she wants to get more eyes on the sport, but I, you're saying you want to get more viewers. I want more viewers for the correct reasons. People like Katie Taylor didn't work her backside off to pave the way for women like me and you to be in this position. Talk about underwear. I've got a 14-year-old sister. I've got, my coaches have daughters. I've got a goddaughter. I want to be a good role model. I want to show hard work and dedication. It's what gets you here, not flaunting your body. Well, that's, my only, that's my only problem with this. Well, you're the one that first sprang up the whole thing about me getting naked. So you kind of started it with talking about me getting nude and, you know, if I want to do laundry with someone else, you know, like, you started talking about it. I was just doing it. You're the one judging at the start. So, I mean, realistically, nah, it started let's get, it. let's get it right. You're saying I'm judging. You're the one who's made a judgment because I got on the scales a few fights ago and I didn't. I'm here to fight. That was, I'm not, that I don't was care a, what that I look was, like. That was in a retaliation to you calling me naked because I'm wearing underwear that doesn't look like I your underwear. I didn't know who you was until you started tweeting about me and about what, what I'm wearing on the on the, sca on the scales. Who cares? Oh my god! All right, whatever's in your head, that's cool, man. Because I, I can tell. I can... One thing in my head, and that's that belt because yeah. you're coming home with me Saturday all night. All right, all right, girl. I can tell because you tweet things and it's so like you're hypocr your biggest hypocrite. So I don't think you see what you're doing or see what you're saying because you can't see it. But that's okay because, you know, that's you and, and I'm cool. And everyone else can see it. And that's why 80% of the British want me to knock you out. <laughs> we'll see And then, you know, that. the only reason, there's only two reasons why people are tuning into this fight. To see the blonde bomber fight and to see you get knocked out. Okay, well, not going to happen. Not going to happen, so... Can you do that, Ebony? Do you think you can take her out? I mean, both of you got tremendous, yeah. you know, fighting styles. Again, I go back to the fact that you are both inexperienced in the pro game, really. I mean, you know, Shannon, you've got more experience. You've suffered a defeat, which you've come back from so well, but... I feel like this fight's going to catch fire from the first belt because ultimately you've got 20 minutes yeah. to win this belt. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we both have the power to knock people out. So a knockout is a knockout or a stoppage is uh, a, sorry a knockout or a stoppage is very um is very possible 100. It comes down to I suppose our conditioning and our heart to see if it goes to the 10 rounds. And if it does go to the 10 rounds, I tell you what, it's going to be a fucking exciting 10 rounds. We're very exciting 10 rounds because I know how we both. Shout are. out to our Sky viewers sorry. as well for that uh, language. <laughs> Did you cut that by then? Okay. Still going. Okay, yeah. That's all right, don't worry. I just lost my contract, that's fine. Uh, on a serious Sorry, note, don't worry, I do it all the time. I've done much worse. Um, Shannon, you expect this to be... Have you got to be careful? You know, are your team saying to you, don't fight off emotion here? You know, is there a game plan to follow? You have to be disciplined. We're only at Thursday. Things are going to be spicy, getting spicier, getting spicier. Do you have to control those emotions? On Saturday night? I've just got a cool, calm, collected head, you know. We've had the game plan since day one of this fight. I've got the best team behind me, keeping me nice and calm. My game plan is my game plan. We've stuck to it in sparring. It's worked beautifully, and it's going to work even better on Saturday night. Final question for both of you. With, with your profile, with what you've done, Australian boxing, absolutely flying. Yeah. You win on Saturday night, you really become a superstar yeah. in women's boxing. Yeah. Massive opportunity in your 100%. life. 100%. I, I truly believe that. I truly believe if I win this, I become a superstar. I feel like if Shannon wins it, she's kind of still Shannon. She still has to beat Rachel Ball. She's a world champion, but I just think it's a little bit of a different thing. Um, but I'm not letting that all that pressure or anything like kind of get to me. But I'm very excited to be that person and to be a new face and a new character in women's boxing, for sure. And Shannon, same question to you. You know, you've seen Katie Taylor do it, Savannah Marshall do it, Chantel Cameron do it. You could become a world champion on Saturday. And as you said, change your life. Rematch with Rachel Boyle, of course, is one everyone wants to see. But unification fights, just massive opportunities at domestic level and worldwide as well. Yeah, this fight isn't my Everest. This is just a start for me. You know, win the world title, join the names of the likes of Savannah Marshall, Katie Taylor, Kat Terry Harper. I should be another woman and another British woman to her world title. And I want to bring another world title home to, to Britain. We've, we've done it. We saw it with Lawrence Coley a few weeks ago, and I want to be the, the next one. Absolutely. Well, special shout out to Terry Harper because I missed her out, one of my favourite fighters out there. So um, I cannot wait. I'm so excited for you both because the belt goes in the air on Saturday night and one of you will be crowned world champion on Saturday night. Good luck. We'll have a head to head up here, please. Hey.
Thank you. 